News of a family already hit by grief with the loss of their loved one then shocked to find a major mix up at the funeral home. The body in the casket was not their family member, but a complete stranger. Local 10's Ian Margul is live now in South Miami with our exclusive tonight. Ian. This situation is almost hard to wrap your head around. We first introduced you to this family back in September. They went to the funeral home, looked in the casket, and they said, that is not our father. Now they have proof it was not him, but they still don't know where he is. Who's going to find out where my father is? Where do we go to next? Saraji and Vanessa Monazier are desperate for answers. In September, they flew to South Florida to bury their father, Edner Monazier, who died from COVID-19. But as they were preparing for the funeral, they looked in the casket and didn't recognize the man inside. When I saw the body immediately, I knew. How do you open a casket and tell me this is my father and I'm telling you it's not? And it's just a, oh, well. The family brought their concerns to Larkin Community Hospital in South Miami, where Edner died, and Emanuel Funeral Homes, the company hired to pick up his body. In a statement, Larkin tells us only one person passed away there the day Edner died and that the hospital doesn't have a morgue, so when someone dies, they remain in their room until they're picked up by a funeral home, which they say is exactly what happened that night. Emanuel Funeral Homes has maintained from the start that the person in the casket was the man they picked up from Larkin and that it is Edner. But just days before the new year, investigators confirmed through DNA and dental records the man in the casket was not Edner. We're not crazy. So making us feel crazy was really tough for us and traumatizing. So it was a feeling of relief. So now Edner's family is left with even more questions and are pushing for someone to find their father and figure out who the man in the casket really is. The hospital is not responding. The funeral home isn't OK. It's not their fault. Then whose fault is it and where is he? And whose family is this? Who's the second family? Someone's loved one is being unfortunately tampered with, like played with. They don't even know their family has been through all this investigation and testing. That's that's not right. So at some point, it appears between when Edner died and when his family looked in the casket, there was a mistagging of the body in some kind of accidental swap. The question is, when did it happen and who made that mistake? Right now, the Florida Division of Funeral Cemetery and Consumer Services is conducting that investigation. Today, they tell me that investigation is still ongoing.